In this screencast, we're going to look at fluctionality in the trigonal bipyramidal molecule phosphorus pentafluoride. In a trigonal bipyramid, the axial and the equatorial positions are different from each other. This means that for the trigonal bipyramidal molecule phosphorus pentafluoride, there are two different PF bond lengths. On the basis of this, you might expect that the fluorine 19 NMR spectrum would show two different resonances since there are two types of fluorine atom. In reality, the NMR spectrum contains only one signal, which appears as a doublet due to coupling with the phosphorus-31 nucleus. Why is the spectrum simpler than would be expected? Molecules are not static in solution, and the bonds are constantly vibrating and rotating. Although the ground state geometry for phosphorus pentafluoride is trigonal bipyramidal, the square pyramidal structure is only slightly higher in energy than this. As there's a low energy barrier between the two geometries, they interconvert in solution. This interconversion provides a means of scrambling the axial and the equatorial fluorine atoms in a trigonal bipyramid so that each fluorine atom spends two-fifths of its time in an axial position and three-fifths of its time in an equatorial position. A molecule that can rearrange its shape is known as fluxional, and the process involved in this particular type of fluxionality is called the Berry pseudo-rotation.